But for the simple fact that what people do depends upon what they perceive and what they expect. And the fact is that perceptions and expectations are driving what's going on today as much as the economic facts. The reality of it is this. The reality of it is that the United States economy, that the United States real estate sector, that the Florida economy and that the Florida real estate sector are all in recovery. I think Florida real estate is back in a minute recovery. Right? We are seeing sales and pending sales that have been consistently up. Not up every month. We have ups and downs. But by and large, the trend has definitely been up. Listings have fallen. We're seeing fewer new listings come on the market year over year in just about every month. And I think what that's showing is that, is that folks are getting more realistic sense of what the market is. All right, now, What's driving the revival? I think really you've got to look at you got to look at really four things. I only have three there. One of the things I think which has been most influential here has been the discounting in prices. Real estate prices in Florida have fallen to the point where for someone who's savvy and has patient money, they're almost irresistible. Every form of household wealth is back to or above its 2007 levels. So essentially what we're talking about is, except for how home equity, we're back to pre-bust numbers. And as Lawrence accurately pointed out, a large portion of the reduction in Florida's population was the abandonment of Florida by construction workers who no longer had jobs here. But a portion of it were people who were simply not coming down in their normal way because they were frozen in their houses in the Northeast, literally and figuratively. Right? Now they're not. And they're coming back down. Well, what did the Department of Census numbers show a couple months ago? Florida population is increasing. It's not construction workers. These are folks coming back. So, so essentially, the restoration of wealth in other parts of the economy is really benefiting Florida in terms of getting people to the reverse flow. If you look at the yellow line, which is employment in Florida, and mentally look at January of 2011, and then run the line to the end of the end of the uh, road, which is the end of the year. So look at 2011. What you see is a virtual month-by-month -month increase in employment, getting better toward the end of the year. What happened with home sales? Well, home sales followed it up, fluctuated a little bit. It's beginning to follow it back up again. Jobs and housing. You know, I've said for years that the most important number in this economy for realtors is jobs. The number of jobs created or lost. Not the unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is about as, as deceiving a piece of information as anyone wants to know. You can talk through its details and explain why that happens. I'm going to put it to you simply this way. The unemployment rate is a fraction. And as we all knew when we were 11 years old in fourth grade, fractions are evil. All right? <laughs> So don't think of the unemployment rate as being significant. It's the number of jobs created or lost, and that's what this shows. We're looking at a steady increase in jobs created within the state of Florida, and that's bringing the housing market back with us. And that's the reason why we're going to have a better housing market in 2012 than we had in 2011. All right? Lawrence and I disagree on a number of things. He's probably more optimistic about Florida than I am, but I still think, but we are both optimistic, as I said. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to end by citing the third law of economic forecasting, which is, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So thank you very much.